we just discovered that you actually have to push the little, um, the little red square block to actually start recording. And then you get a little red dot next to your face to show that you're recording. And no, oh, my girlfriend and I were just carrying on, carrying on, having a grand old time. And you know what was recorded? Absolutely nothing. That's what was recorded. But uh, here we are at my little beach house. This is just this is just a demo, and just to see if recording videos on this thing is a thing that can work. Here's my lovely gravel scaffolding, and my nice beach view of my beach villa. But it's nighttime now, so let's go to bed, and get in the building. Carrying my dark oak sapling. Um, the spawn point for this world is a clearing in, in a dark oak forest. So that's why I have all this dark oak stuff with me at this place, which is a shore of a decently sized ocean northeast of spawn. Here is the seed, negative 1793380276. Try saying that five times fast. Okay. Um, so I'm right now out of wood. I'm working on um, working on building my dark oak roof, dark oak stairs roof. Um, I meant to put a floor in here, but like I I put the slab in and then did the walls immediately, and I was just like, oh wait, I wanted a floor on top of the on top of the slab, and I kind of forgot that. Um, so so it should have been like a layer of wood planks or something with the wall on the outside of it and then another layer of bricks and then the glass if you know what I'm saying but anyway I think we'll go with this well you know if, if, if I need to jazz up the floor a bit we'll put down some carpet um, so these dark oak trees I mean I like the wood but and I like you know that you get a lot of wood per tree but the problem is, is you have to plant four saplings to get it which is kind of annoying so here, the one I have in my hand is one I got from this current tree that I'm trying to take down. And I've got three saplings in reserve. So I need to get four more, to, and then I'll be able to have two trees on the go at once, which will be nice. And that will help grow things even faster. But the thing is, is the drop rate of the saplings isn't any better than it is for regular oak. And you only need one sapling to grow the regular oak. And you don't get that many more leaves with the, with the dark oak, so... Yeah, anyway, so I think I'm going to craft an axe, though. I was complaining earlier about how axes are kind of useless, and yeah, they, they, they're, they're, I think they are, but, um, by the way, pro tip, don't use your axes uh, on leaves, because uh, they'll, they'll wear out even faster than they already do. Um, okay, let's see, I'm going to flip my phone around again. Is that view any better? I don't know. Um, is my thumb in the way of it more? Yeah, maybe it is. Yeah, okay. All right. We'll go back. Um, so, I'm going to... Riveting television, I know. Um... Uh, Yeah, I wanted to make an axe, right? Okay, let's make an axe. So we just hit up this crafting table. We'll look at what's craftable. I need some more sticks. Dang, dang, dang. And I need axes. Yeah, two iron axes. Okay. Sounds good. All right, let's do this. I, I, yeah, I also never bother to craft diamond axes. I mean, all of a sudden more more late game and I want to get I've never really found any really good enchantments for axes um could get yeah I mean like you know on breaking three and mending I suppose now if you cut away all the wood all of these leaves should just like start popping out and dropping items which would be kind of nice I wouldn't have to bother with 
breaking the leaves. So let's hope that that's what happens. We'll just... Don't you take my wood, sheep. Not that your sheep can take your wood. Well, even the Genderman can. Um, okay, yeah, well, let's break some stuff here. Hoping to get four more saplings. And since I've got that in the hot bar already, I'll be able to see as soon as they come in, because they will go to that stream stack. I'm getting sticks, I guess, but I haven't gotten any saplings. I probably should just go to the actual dark oak forest and take down a bunch of trees, but I don't like to take down naturally generated trees if I don't have to. I prefer to only take down trees I've grown myself. No, oh, this isn't going to help me. This is just an oak tree. Yeah. Uh, oh. Okay, okay. Two more. Well, unfortunately, we did not get all the way up to two trees, but we got one closer to closing the gap. So I have... Six of these things. Or did we get one further away? <laughs> I need to I need to have eight. Uh dang, I only have six. So next time I gotta get next time I need to get Can I math at this time of night? Okay, I have six saplings. I plant four. I have two in reserve. I want to do two trees at once. I need six from the tree. But as you saw just right now, I only got three, I think. Um, what did I even do with them? Yeah, six. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good at all. I want more. Yeah. Ah, Minecraft. It never listens. Ah. Okay. So let's plant these four. I'll hope for some hope for some better luck with the drops. But yeah, I'm actually worse off than I was. Now I, only, now I only have two in reserve, and before I had three in reserve, so I'm slipping back. Although I got a ton of wood, though, which was the whole, whole point of the tree, I suppose. So let's make us some planks. And now let's make some steps. Pretty, pretty close to two stacks, okay. Um, where should I sit? Third position here? Yeah, let's do that. Um, okay, well, over here. Now these corners are like voodoo witchcraft to me. I, you know, okay, like that worked out, but like half the time I place, I, when I place it, shucks. But 
But I, I really don't know what the rhyme or reason to how these work is. Um, there we go. You often end up with, of course, see, like you end up with corner pieces when you don't want them half the time. Uh, okay, let's do this. I wonder if the way I'm facing has something to do with it. Yeah, it seems to want to give me them now, but like when I was doing this earlier, it's like. It's like, oh, okay, because before, when I was down and to the side of it like that, it would, oh, that's not going to work anymore, um, it would give me a corner piece. Now you're not giving me a corner piece. What gives, game? Oh, whoops. I kind of like this game. I've been playing it for a while. Uh, my girlfriend got me into it. We had like a... Um, we were having sort of a long distance thing going on, and so we, um, we played on her Minecraft realm. It's called Wholesome Chungus. And someday we'll, uh, we'll probably have some fun, you know, exploring that. Well, I guess that was the example of the there's an air stair I don't want. In general, um, I don't actually recommend playing Minecraft on a phone, but it's nice that you can, like, even though the, it's like really clunky and awkward compared to having like a keyboard or mouse, keyboard and mouse, or, or even a controller. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm team keyboard and mouse with this game for sure, but you know, some people like, uh, going to be the world's worst temporary block, but... Starry nice. Make your palette blue and gray. Don't actually like that song. Maybe it's because our drama teacher in grade 11. Well, no, it was grade 11 drama. I wasn't in grade 11. But, um,. Was it grade twelve? Might have been. I didn't grade twelve drama. Anyway, the 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 teacher, famous, famous teacher at, uh, at Charles P. Allen High School. Her name begins with D. Um, she was like she was like getting people to like say the lyrics to "Starry Starry Night" in a bunch of different ways, like you know, confrontational. Starry, starry night, paint your palette blue and gray. You know, like, just, I think things like that are lame. And so I was like, this is lame. But I did the thing anyway, because, like, I was, I was to the point, like, where I was just, like, I I'd learned that, like, I actually have to do the dumb things. Just, just sort of, you know, grin and bearish. Um... And, um, but when I was, like, a kid, I wouldn't do the things. And even, when, like, I was a, you know, a 
pretty big kid, I wouldn't do the things. So, like, when I was taking, you know, drama 10 in grade 10, uh, like, which I, I bear, like, I barely passed, <laughs> like, it was, like, you have to be, you have to, you have to really try to get a, a grade in drama, like, like, to get the drama 10 grade I did, if you can, if you out there, I don't, I don't remember if I got, like, a 50 or a 52 or something, but boy, howdy, I, I think that, that might have been a record, because, I mean, it, it's, kind of considered a bird course it's like you know okay let's have you know let's have fun for an hour i mean you know so some will some will vehemently disagree uh, uh maybe a teacher whose name begins with z but um you know uh it's it's not as it's not as rigorous as calculus let me put it that way which i did i didn't take i didn't even come anywhere near in high school in fact i graduated high school initially with a trucker math credit uh, what they called at the time a, a leaving high school uh, credit. I can't get this to work. Um, so, like, let's sneak and get under this. So, well, I have a lot of dirt to get out of here later. Well, when I first started high school, they had they had like the grade levels and that was like the second digit of the course code so like two was grade 10 three was grade 11 and four was grade 12 and i presume one was for grade nine which but wasn't you know wasn't used um and then there was um the first digit like the like the third digit was for like what specific course it was i think but like the the first digit was for the the um academic level i guess you could say so um four was university prep three was called open and um two was leaving high school so grade 10 leaving high school math would be math 221. Well, that is the credit I graduated high school with, believe it or not. And I, I didn't actually take the course. They didn't, they didn't actually want me in the class. They foresaw interpersonal difficulties had I actually enrolled it. So I actually failed math 421 three times and got a 221 credit, and that's how I graduated high school. Again, like, it's just like, I just, you know, like, paying attention and, like, trying to, like, figure things out that didn't like come instantly to me was just not not in my playbook at the time i did come back and get like um uh university prep academic math so i guess what they would have called um i don't remember if like science math was one or if science math was two uh so it would have been either like four three one and four four one or uh four three two and four four two um but they changed all the names <laughs> that's i mean that's that was what it was called when i started high school and then and then they and then they took took away that that system and they were just like it's grade 12 math or it's or it's pre-cal or it's history 10 they don't they don't like they don't like go through and like give it these wonderful course course codes like they used to so that is all more than you ever wanted to know but anyway i guess i just said that to just um you know what'll go well here a slab do i have any slabs i don't believe i do but that's what's the ticket the order for today is so we need to get some more planks I think in order to make slabs. Are dark oak slabs just not a thing or I just don't have them there? Okay. I just need a few of these. I'm not actually really a big fan of slabs. I like why can't you have why can't you have two different kinds of slabs in the same block? You know, like that's for one thing. I can kind of understand how, like, you know, they didn't want the complexity of, like, having, like, 
having somebody like stick an item like an, that's not slabable on the right directly on the um lower uh a lower half slab um that's anyway i can't yeah i came back and got academic math as distinct from pre-calculus uh because it's um did my slabs just end up on the crafting table area where'd they go I thought I made slabs. Did I just... Where'd they go? Am I record? Yeah, I'm still recording. Okay. Oh, because my inventory's full. It won't even let me make them. Okay, okay. Um... Well, we don't need the black wool. Uh, we don't need this oak sapling. All right. Yeah, I took, uh, I did not take pre-cal. Um, I took, uh, I took, uh, you know, academic math, so, you know, you get your, you get, like, basic trig and some stats and stuff, it's, so it's the, you know, it's enough to prepare you to go for, like, an arts degree or something, but not enough for, not enough for science. Um, so that kind of, like, sort of, like, determined, like, I guess where the rest of my life went, because, like, um, you know, I wouldn't, you know, I might have been a good candidate for computer science in some alternate universe. Um, like I got, um, like I took the first uh, bit of computer science when I was doing an English degree and I got an A plus, which was nice. And then the second half I got a C plus just because I wasn't, I just didn't have the, I guess the grit necessary to really like build my programs slowly, build a little, test a little, build a little, test a little. I was just like, man, I'm so smart. I can get this all done in one go. And like this, this was something with like potentially classes or at least structs. And like, you're not gonna, you know, it was more than just a trivial procedural, you know, one and done kind of thing. And like, um, you know, I, I, no, I know you're not going to, you're not going to get that right on the first try. But the thing is, the thing that was really frustrating though, was that I, I just couldn't like, like the prof would look at it and be like, this is my solution, but never, but nevertheless, I could, I could, I couldn't get it to compile. Like, so, but yeah, you have to, you have to be willing to, that's another thing I hate about play. You're just playing on the phone. You just randomly just drop, you just put things in random places. So yeah, it's kind of like not safe to like have anything except a, like a weapon or something when you're walking around. Um, okay, so let's go up to the next level. Are we are we gonna finish this tonight? We might we might finish this tonight. That would that would be cool. That would be cool. Um, and I did end up eventually. Um, uh, getting getting pre-calculus and technically also calculus, but big asterisk. Um, I did it, I did it through the um, College of Continuing Education at uh, Dalhousie, which is a major university in Halifax, uh, outside of which I lived for many years. And the thing about that university. Um, is that well they have they have excellent math resources so like you can get like a math grad student to like help you with your homework and stuff like quite convenient hours for it too so like they do give priority to students and credit courses but like it's like it's a really valuable resource and like super helpful I would not have 
gotten through without without that. And at the same time, I also took uh, I also took um, uh, chemistry and physics, uh, like the university prep courses. And then I and then I actually went back to back to St. Mary's again for science, um, which was which was all right, except like I you know second year I I I I withdrew um, like if you don't want to have to do like a physics formal lab report every two weeks with like you know six pages of calculations trying to like propagate your uncertainties like it's, it's not fun um you know and I, I just was like you know I I hate this and like I'm you know I could like put all of my effort in and like pass but like I don't like it that much and uh so yeah I I I went, in, I went into IT instead, and then, like, all my problem-solving skills really helped me out because I got, I got a Governor General's Medal at the community college, which, I mean, is, like, okay, that's the minor leagues, but still, like, I was, <laughs> I was pretty pleased. Um, and now I work at a library as the uh, technical assistant. And... Oh, there she comes. I heard a door open. Oh. Oh, remember we were talking earlier about how, um, yeah, so I wouldn't actually recommend playing Minecraft on a phone, but boy, when you're at a family gathering, <laughs> <laughs> this, this was a lifesaver. Uh, you're hell wrong for this one. Yeah, yeah, um. Yes, um, I, you know, like, you can only listen to, you know, your relations argue about septic tanks for so long oh. before you... Does your mom know how irrigation works? Oh, I, I, she probably does, although I think she's, um, she's got reason to be, uh, concerned about water. Uh, we had, um, like, I mean, we had a flooding at the, at the farmhouse in PEI, um, like after, kind of after we moved out, but, um, and then we had, um, there was also, um, there was, a, after, yeah, it was after, it was after Grampy died, uh, down in Sherbrooke, um, like, there was water running in the basement door. Oh. Oh, yeah, and it just went all through the basement and just, like, ruined so much. It was, it was terrible. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to go through a flooding. Yeah. Like no, so she, so, so, she, so she's, I, I think she's right to be concerned about water flow. Yeah, you don't want someone's septic water ending up in your, your well water or anything like that, so. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, but but by the way, a uh, disclaimer to any Cape Breton relatives watching this: I am not taking sides in this debate. <laughs> I I know nothing. <laughs> I am just using this as an example of a conversation that's interesting to listen to, but like I have nothing to contribute to. So um, you know, I'm on the also work comp workman's compensation benefits were you right you were you might not have been around for that one. Oh, but, uh, when was this oh this is a, a, another another gathering same same place different maybe different but you weren't there so oh. um okay oh well, yeah we got our new my new stack of dirt so i'm making it around the ah You hit the hay. Yeah. Oh well, if you hit the hay, that means you'll get um, wheat. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And if you hit the wheat, you'll get bread. Oh. Yeah. How do I get the hay bale in Minecraft? You like you make the hay out of wheat. Oh okay. Like like it's like hay is just like a, it's like the equivalent of a a coal block. Okay. Or a diamond block or something, but that that's what that's what hay is for wheat. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. What about dedicated land? Oh, 
well, uh, you know, you don't, I don't think you need a, I guess it depends on how many people you plan to have playing on your server, really. I mean, for people, for like a, a few people in a household playing Minecraft, you know, just to have like multiplayer in their house, I don't think you need too much. What about like Mineville? How much dedicated land oh, do you need for? I don't know. Or Skyblock. But or... like, I'm running, I'm running Minecraft Bedrock, plus like as as like the client actually playing it, plus the server. And my computer has 16 gigs of RAM, which is, you know, adequate yeah. by today's standards, if not if not generous. But like, it's fine. I have no I have no problems. Okay. And I got video memory coming out of that too, because I'm using I'm using an EPU. So. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well. That was Danielle, everybody. Oh, should we show Danielle uh, on the? the she just, she on. just had her. <laughs> this, this shirt might, might cause a, uh, a what you might call it. Yeah, yeah. A there's, there's. Scandal. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. There's. <laughs> D D Danielle likes uh, political memes for her, for her shirts. So. She, she's, she's in it for the walls. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that's. That was, oh, I do have. I do have some more plants, and I have some more logs. So we don't need to use in our hot bar right now. Okay. Yeah, as far as calculus went, um, so I go, so I go to St. Mary's and like they sit you down for an entrance exam, which I failed by like a point or two, so I couldn't, so I couldn't, I couldn't take the, I couldn't just get in and take calculus for a semester. I'd take pre-calculus review, and so the first part I did like, you know, amazingly because I just came off of pre-calculus during the summer so like I got like a hundred on the midterm and my my that same grade ten math teacher the first time i failed math 10 he like saw that mark and he's like oh wow you know that's, that's he's really improving you know you know 15 years later <laughs> whatever it is but like um and but you know it, it, so i got out of pre-calculus review with i don't know it might have been an a or something i don't even know like it counts as a credit but it doesn't count towards like your math program um, if that's what you're doing. Um, and then, uh, we went, um, uh, you know, I took, I took, uh, first semester of first year calculus, but in the second semester. And it's just like, it's all, it's all derivatives. Um, which I, which is the, um, rate of change in functions. Like you, there's, you know, reasons you want to know, like how, not just, not just like what the quantity of something is, but how quickly that thing is changing, you know, with respect to some other variable such as time. Um, and so, you know, you, and there's like, <laughs> I think the only, the only way to do get derivatives I remember now is the power rule. And I'm not even sure I remember that. Um, so like basically you're taking one function and there's certain steps you have to go through to get the rate of change of that function. Okay, so um, I forgot to make steps. Uh, I got a D. Uh, like I just, I just found it just like, just everything was just like way too fast, way too much, way too hard. I didn't, I barely understood anything. Like we went to like, there was like, uh, there was like what you would call a, like the equivalent of a lab, but it's a math class. I forget what they call them. Um, it's like a, it's like a little workshop you go to and I mean, you have to go, it is compulsory, but like, uh, it counts towards your grade, but it's like usually like a different instructor that's running it or something. Um, I think it's A something, but I, I, I have no idea. Um, 
but I, I just, I just found like I just couldn't, I just couldn't hack everything. It was just, it was just ridiculous. And I didn't make very many stairs. I could have made more. Should have made more logs. Um, anyway, so I get, but, but I, you know, a D, a D is a, you know, a pass technically. So I, uh, like I, who knows, I probably did terribly on the, on the final and that's why it was, that's why the grade was what it was. Um, so, uh, I took, um, the second half of first year calculus at, at Dow, uh, as a summer credit. Um, and it was, uh, it was great. Like we had like a, a really nice guy teaching it and like we had, a, and we had access to those grad students again. And, um, and, um, and he was, I, th I think he, I think he knew that like, I wasn't going to go far in math. He was like, Oh, I really like your sense of logic, you know? Um, and, uh, you know, you could even have like a cheat sheet for the exams, which was nice. Um, they, they sure as heck didn't, didn't have that. <laughs> Same place. And also, I think you could have calculators, and I think they, and which also weren't allowed at St. Mary's during the main year. But I think it was like, it was just more cash because it was, you know, because it was summer. And, you know, I should sleep. Let's sleep and make more stairs. Um, yeah, so it was more cash, um, because it was summer. And, uh, so, and I got an A. <laughs> so, yeah, so I got a D in derivatives and an A in integrals. And integrals are basically areas under, areas under functions. So the area, the area covered by a function um you, you you take you take integrals to find out how much area is covered between two points on a function okay so that's all single variable second year you get to do multivariable uh did i get very far in that no <laughs> no they wanted you to be able to do first year calculus in your sleep uh, at least for doing um, second year calculus at St. Mary's, and I would assume that's probably true of most universities. Like, there's no, there's no like training wheels for <laughs> second year calculus. You si you sink or swim, and well, I I I couldn't I couldn't swim. I I try I tried and tried and 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 I I just like you know this is, this is not this is not for me. And and every everything was just going to pot. Like I, I like linear algebra was tanking and uh, multivariable calculus, intermediate calculus, whatever you want to call it, was tanking. And um, like you know, it wasn't it wasn't going too well with those formal lab reports in the physics course. The only course the only course that I got credit for that. Um, first semester of second year science was uh, foundations not. Was it Foundations of Astrophysics? I think it was called. Yeah, it was funny. Like that was the only that was the and like that one that one wasn't too hard. You just needed you just needed some you know geometry and it was just some basics about observing and stuff. So it wasn't it wasn't too difficult compared to some other things. Um, but yeah, so yeah, and after all that, I. I, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going, I'm applying for the IT program at NSCC, which I kind of wanted to do, um, even at a high school, although I don't know if I would have been mature enough at the time to do it, but like, they were like, they were like, oh, you need, you need to have, uh, is it one year of university or just like just generic university experience to take, uh, their computer programming advanced diploma program. Um, and I guess I can see why, because, 
I guess we're going to have slabs again. Because uh, you, you really need to, you know, come to class and, and do the work, and, and you're not going to get, you're not going to get spoon-fed. Um, unless it's like, unless it's like the, the basic uh, <laughs> web, web, web uh, course, the, the baby's first HTML. <laughs> open Notepad++, plus plus, and type your... Type your uh, open, what are those things? Like, you know, you know the less than, greater than? I don't know what you call them in, like, a, a web context, but, you know, the things that surround your HTML tags, you know, and uh, <laughs> you had to, that, that class was so ridiculous. Like, like you had, like, you had to do everything exactly the way the instructor did it. And I think she labored under a lot of false impressions. But, you know, anyway. I think we are going to finish this tonight. But we need... We need a few more slabs. Six will that do it. Well, I think we're done here. Um, I do like this style of roof, although I'm open to being convinced that it wasn't necessarily the right choice for this house, considering the, um, considering how tall it ends up getting, just because the, just because the, um, floor space is so broad. Um... Oh, goody, got more dark oak there. I'll get into that, but uh, yeah, mobile touch controls, it's hard. But uh, I think that's everything. So we just have to get on the inside and take out all those temporary blocks. Could also. Oh, I can't put torches here because these are lower half slabs. So, I guess not. Unless you like your torches floating in midair. I do not. I have even no idea what this is going to look like. I just hope Google abstracted away all of the all of the tinkering with settings that oh, I just love so much in OBS. I'm going to be the guy in 10 million talents, I tell you. Not sure I want to be that guy. But... Okay. Oh, you notice the rain got quieter because we're not standing out in it. That's kind of nice. My um, my arms are kind of getting tired holding up the phone and everything. So I think we're gonna call it a night here. Um, hope you enjoyed this building a roof and just chilling. And uh, 
see you some other time. Soon, maybe. Bye-bye.